Ready? Cool. Well, just how's it feel to get the first one out of the way, actually be in the regular season? Well, it was good to get that first one out of the way. You know, obviously a new group. Um, you know, I thought there was kind of a tale of two teams. I thought we played real strong for about 50 minutes, and then, uh, you know, Chicago had a push at the end. Pretty good veteran uh, lineup there with guys like Pukin in uh, season AHL veterans. And, uh, I thought they took it to us the last 10, but our guys did a good job just hanging in there, and they took a penalty late to kind of take away any chance they had. But uh, I, I liked our start to the game. Uh, I liked the way we were rolling four lines. Uh, every line contributed tonight, so it shows you the depth of our group. Um, probably the the one point we, we we probably were weak on where our, our D wasn't great under pressure, and uh, we turned some pucks over, especially late in the game. But you know what? You got to give Chicago credit. They came hard in the forecheck. They battled back. Um, overall, we'll take the win. Uh, we've got some work to do, but um, at the end of the day, it's uh, it's a good two points for us. You had a fourth line with two rookies on it. You had two goals tonight. We're just kind of all over the place. Talk about the energy they provided tonight. Well, they I mean, right from uh, even right from Traverse City, Sheldon Dries and LaBerge have been uh, energy guys for us. And, and you know, when we're making thinking about our team at this point of the year, we were thinking they're going to be part of our team and provide energy. And then on the one goal, they scored a great forecheck, turn it over. Uh, they ended up getting a scoring chance on it, so and, and they buried on it. So that's that, they were good for us. Made a mistake in the third. They got caught out against the, their number one line. They ended up getting scored on. They to make it 6-4, but I, I wouldn't blame them for the goal. But uh, they were really good for us tonight. On the uh, you mentioned that they had a really good top line. You guys were rolling four lines. Do you see that as an advantage of this team being able to roll those four lines? Well, they've got four lines they can roll too. I think they've got about six lines over there. So for us, it, uh, we, we managed the game very well uh, to get it to 6-3, to three, and then I thought we got a little bit uh, nervous uh, with some puck play, and, and you know obviously they were trying to press to get back in the game, but uh, we didn't handle the pressure great, and that's when a young team, you know, we were trying to find uh, how we're going to react when you're going to finish out a game when you want to, you know, it's, it's the win time, right? So you got to buckle down a little bit, you got to be harder on pucks, you got to make smarter plays, you got to manage the game. And, and that's something we'll learn from this. And um, the fortunate part is we ended up winning the game 6-5. Now we can look at this positively and say, here are some of the areas that we want to work on. And if you end up losing that game with a 6-3 lead, it doesn't leave a great taste in your mouth. It seemed like one of the areas that had some difficulty tonight was just defensive zone clears. They were catching up the blue line all over the place, it seemed like. Yeah, and, and that's just a, uh, you know, if you look at our PK, we had about five clearing attempts we didn't get out. And I thought that really fueled their uh, intensity and their confidence on their power play. Um, you know, our guys did a great job killing the five on three there for 30 seconds and then killing off the five on four. But for us, um, we've got to be harder on pucks all over the ice. We were, we were swinging a little bit. Um, and the way we want to play and the way we have to play, uh, we don't want to get in track meets every night. We don't want to get in the six, five hockey games. And we don't want our goaltender stopping 32 shots a night. So we have to do a better job of limiting the shots, being harder in the D zone, being harder in pucks. And I thought we did a pretty good job for about the first 40, 50 minutes. And then they had a barrage at the end of the game. Uh, talk about the veteran situation. You scratched McNeil and Rollo tonight. How do you feel about that? What do you think about tomorrow night? It's the cards I've been dealt. I don't sign the contracts. And our guys are up to speed on it. Uh, we'll decide what we're going to do tomorrow. And uh, speaking of tomorrow, Goalie rotation, where are, you, where are you at on that? Well, I'm not sure. We'll see you tomorrow morning, but uh, right now it looks like uh, Mike McKenna will go again, and we'll see what happens. Um, I'll see what happens in Dallas and go from there. Yeah. So right now, uh, Mike will go. He'll get both starts, and that's that's kind of been set up on the rotation. Okay. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.